This video is an introduction to creating terminal strips with Automation Studio. We will see how to create a terminal strip, associate a terminal to a terminal strip, and then how it can be presented. To create an electrotechnical document in Automation Studio, open a new project in Project Explorer. There is a choice to create different kinds of projects. For our purposes, we need an electrotechnical IEC or NEMA standard project. Click on Electro IEC and OK. By default, it's called Project 1 Electro 1. From the main menu ribbon, click on the Electro Technical tab and choose Terminal Strip Builder. The Terminal Strip Builder dialog box opens right away. Click on New to create a new terminal strip with identifier X1. In this dialog box, there are two tabs to configure the new terminal strip. In the Identification tab, there is Essential Subdivision Location, Displayable Primary and Secondary Component Code, Displayable Number, Displayable Function, and the Number of Terminals, which is zero for now since we haven't created any terminals and associated them to this terminal strip. And here there is an area for comments. Comments are used to help trace the identifier. For example, by inputting the location of the terminal strip in the fusible box, and accepting this modification, this information appears next to the identifier X1. Once this is done, it's time to configure the new terminal strip or reconfigure the existing one. To do this, click on the tab Configuration in the dialog box. To modify the information of the terminal strip, select the terminal strip identifier. Click Modify. Now that the terminal strip is selected, we can add one terminal at a time by clicking on the plus sign, or add ten terminals at a time by clicking on the plus ten sign. Accept this configuration by clicking on the check mark. The configuration is accepted by Automation Studio. To modify the type of terminal, click Modify. Now we can delete duplicate or change the type of terminal. Just select a terminal by clicking on it and delete by clicking on the yellow eraser or duplicate it to add the exact same type of terminal onto the end. To configure a type of terminal, for example, to configure terminal number 2, there is an exhaustive list in Automation Studio from which to choose the type of terminal. Let's choose double deck, one circuit, two connections with the ground, and accept. Terminal number 2 is visibly changed. It is also possible to change the position of a terminal. Move from one side to the other by simply selecting a terminal and with the arrow move it forward or move it backward. There is also another method of moving a terminal to the beginning or the end of the terminal strip. Select the terminal and select the terminal strip, then select which position to move it to. For example, terminal X2 can be moved to position 1 or 2 or at the end or move terminal 1 or 2 inside the terminal strip to position number 5, for example, and apply. Terminal 2 has moved to position 5. To return it to position number 2, choose 2 and apply. In Automation Studio, there are four different ways to represent the terminal strip. From top to bottom, from bottom to top, from right to left, or from left to right. This is the position from top to bottom, from bottom to top, from right to left, and from left to right. There are three different numbering methods for terminal strips. Choose which number from which to start. For example, start from number 1, or start from number 10. 
The first number is going to be 10. Click Apply for each one. Now bring it back to 1. Apply 1, 2. For this method, from the bottom to top and from the right to left, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Using the same terminal, the changes are visible on both sides. Bring it back to the original position, top to bottom. And finally, to choose the size of a selected terminal, select the terminal number 4, change the size to 50 millimeters, and the height to 7. Then click Anywhere, and the change is made. Now we want to bring it back to the original size. Click the Modify button. Click on the terminal strip, and change the sizes back to the original values. Click OK and close the dialog box. When all the modifications are accepted, Terminal Strip X1 is created in Automation Studio. To associate terminals to a terminal strip, drag and drop the corresponding terminal from the Library Explorer. For this example, select Electrotechnical IEC, select Lines and Connections, and click on Terminals. These are all the terminals in Automation Studio. Select the corresponding terminal and draw into the document. A dialog window opens automatically. Select corresponding terminal strips, Select the corresponding position to the terminal and click Apply. Close the dialog box. This is the first terminal associated to the terminal strips. To select the second terminal, click on the Terminal Double Dock two circuits including one ground. Again, the dialog box opens. Select the corresponding terminal strips and select the position. All the other positions are listed. They are gray because it means that these positions are incompatible with the terminals. Select the position number 2 and click Apply. Terminals 1 and 2 are in the right position. To do the same for the rest of the terminals, copy using the keyboard functions. Press and hold the Control key with the right click of the mouse and drag the terminals. To present the picture of the terminal strip from the Library Explorer, drag and drop the terminal strip picture onto the document and associate the terminal strips. Holding the Shift key, select all the terminals or select some of them for a partial presentation of the terminal strips. Click Apply and close the dialog box. This is the picture of the terminal strip. The presentation is from left to right as selected during the configuration of the terminal strips. And there are the terminal strips.